Hello guys, today I want to show you a new feature in Laravel 12.45 released this week, but it started back in October by Mior from the core Laravel team. And this introduces JSON API resources with JSON API specification standard. So I tried it out and we will briefly look at the difference. So this is the original pull request. This is basically the change in the nutshell. And then the result of API resource returned will be a little bit different. So you can click the link and read more about JSON API object with example, or you can read the full specification. So this is a typical example returned by JSON API standard which is different from the typical, again, opinionated, but typical eloquent API resource of Laravel. So let's take a look. This is a typical API controller with post resource collection. And that post resource is JSON resource. And I also have JSON API resource commented out and we will compare the difference. So this is a typical two array with another resource when loaded. So this is a relationship of post belonging to category. And if I launch that with Postman, the result is this data with Laravel API, and then all those fields just listed ID, title, slug, body, and others. There's category here as well and timestamps. Now look what happens if we change that to JSON API resource. So I will comment that out and change to another JSON API resource. And now I will refresh and look at the difference of what we'll see inside of the post object. Looks a bit different, doesn't it? So let's briefly take a look and then I will compare side by side. So ID type and then attributes and inside of those attributes, this is where we get all those fields. So all the typical eloquent API resources fields are part of attributes now. And then we have ID separately and then type separately. And this is the change side by side. You can see the same thing, but in a bit different way. As you can see, those fields are inside of the main object in eloquent API resources in JSON API resources, as you can see, ID type attributes, and then the same fields inside. So nothing really changes in the fields and the values, but they are wrapped as attributes. And again, you can read the specification. This is pretty long, but I found this part for resource objects. So this is a typical structure, again, type ID attributes, and then separately relationships. Now there's one more feature in Laravel. If we go back to the original pull request, this one configuration, that configuration, I assume needs to be an app service provider or other service provider. So let's try to do exactly that. JSON API resource configure. And then these are the parameters, version, extensions, profile, meta. These are probably from the specification of JSON API, but let's try to do the same thing as it says in the PR and let's see what actually changes. So version 2.0. And if we relaunch the postman request, does it appear anywhere here? No, I don't see it here, maybe at the bottom. Oh, yeah, globally JSON API version 2.0. Although actually, I'm not sure what is that 2.0 because on the official website, there's just 1.1 and upcoming 1.2. Maybe I'm missing something here and maybe there's 2.0, but it's not on the official website. So yeah, the new feature of Laravel 12, as you can see, quite a lot of people are happy with that pull request. What do you guys think? Will you use the new standard? Do you use that JSON API in your API projects? Let's share your experience in the comments below. And if you want to know more about how to build APIs in Laravel, reminder that I have a course on Laravel daily updated in 2025 with examples of authentication and authorization with various Vue.js, Next.js, Nuxt, and Flutter and React Native for mobile. And also at the end, discussing the standards like JSON API, also API documentation with Scribe and OpenAPI Swagger. So if you want to watch those lessons and fill in the gaps in your knowledge, I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.